And we're live! Brah. Hello, everybody! We are live! Today is May 6th, 2020. This is Turner Talk Science 6.0 coming to you. And here we go. Today is May 6th, which happens to be National Nurses Day as well as National No Diet Day. So enjoy the cake and the cookies. They are delicious. Um, yesterday, I believe, was the 5th of May, which would have been the Cinco de Mayo, also known as National Hoagie Day. Yes, National Hoagie Day. Make sure you went to Wawa and got you a hoagie. Um, it was also National Teacher Day, um, which is kind of a big deal for us teacher people. Um, but yeah, Cinco de Mayo, Taco Tuesday, National Hoagie Day, and National Teacher Day all in one. It was a great day. Uh, the, the 4th of May was Monday, yes, um, for the Star Wars people. Yes, that is, that is an interesting day. And May 7th, tomorrow, is actually National Passport Day. Yes, National, oops, National Password Day, not Passport, National Passport. Password day. So change your password from one, two, three, four to like two, three, four, five. Just make a little adjustments. National Password Day. Great reminder to change passwords um, to keep your security level high on the interwebs. Um, so that is a brief rundown of the day. If you missed National Hokey Day, I do not believe Wawa would mind if you stopped by today or tomorrow or anytime and got you a hoagie. I'm sure they would be more than happy to make one for you. Um, so quick recap of what's going on, um, for environmental science, you got three things to do this week. Task 6.1 is going over the life science quiz. Um, if you have issues with that, Nicholas, uh, send me an email or a massage and I can figure out how to, uh, give you an extra attempt if it does some weird things, um, with that, um, task 6.2 is layers of the earth, sun, and the atmosphere. I call this the ogre assignment or my shrek assignment because it's like an onion it has layers just like the atmosphere has layers the earth has layers and the sun has layers i know we talked about the earth's picture diagrams a little weird you got your inner and outer core your upper and lower mantle and then your crust for that um then you have 6.3 looking at landforms Landforms in Florida, it's pretty flat, so we probably don't have mountains in Florida. Um, we do have some hills. There is a Mount Florida, I believe, um, and it's like 300 feet tall. Huge mountain there. Um, it's up in, it's over in Lakeland, or not Lakeland, but Lake County, over in the Clearmont area. Um, it's a good spot there. Then we have um, weathering and erosion. So weathering is like the weather coming down, causing things to happen to the earth. Uh, we have chemical and physical weathering, and then it moves um, and it weathers the ground, and then that ground erodes away and is deposited somewhere else. So weathering is the breakdown of the soil or the earth, and then moving it and depositing it somewhere else. That is your erosion. We talked about plate tectonics. And we got different, you know, subductive zones where the one plate's going underneath the other plate. That's a subductive zone. Um, we have Pangea. Um, talking about laws and theories because, you know, we always need to kind of go over laws and theories again, make sure everything's good. Then we have um, comprehensive, which is doing the same plate tectonics erosion thing that um, environmentalists. And then test 6.2 for blah, 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 blah. comprehensive is looking at jet streams, ocean currents, all about convection and moving heat through the earth, um, through ocean currents and jet streams, different climate regions. There's six main climate regions. The book pages actually go through each section very well. We talk about droughts, which is extreme periods of low rainfall drying out, um, which can lead to 
desertification, which is where things become more desert-like. So desertification, um, things become more desert-like. Uh, brief co couple questions on hurricanes and tornadoes. Um, so hurricanes obviously are fairly uh, frequent in Florida, especially during hurricane season from May 1st to, I believe, November 30th is hurricane season. And as it goes through, these are caused by different winds and tropical uh, storms along the equator typically coming up. Um, a lot of times coming off the coast of Africa, across the Atlantic, and then into um, the Florida and Gulf of Mexico. So that's hurricanes. Tornadoes are caused by um, different wind patterns going in opposite directions, uh, causing very violent rotation. Um, tornadoes can actually happen during hurricanes as the, as the winds are rotating around and making things happen. And then for plant class uh, orientation to agri-science, we're going over um, technology, how technology changed ag agriculture, like the cotton gin, um, Eli Whitney. That's a little history lesson, which you probably talked about in U.S. history class too. Um, also talk about John Deere, who invented the plow. And then we'll talk about a little bit with farms, harvesters, tractors, things like that, and how different technology impacted agriculture. As people are, I'm sure, are desperately wanting to know the current toilet paper house count, my house is about 24 rolls, so I'm down from 31 last week or so. So we're still doing great on toilet paper. Going to be in good shape there. Um, so no worries. What is one cool fact about the, uh, outer core outside of the inner core? It also has, um, it's less dense than the inner core. You know, density is kind of how all that goes together. Um, shout out to the, uh, bedspread. Thank you. It's nice. Um, how many days until online school ends? Well, we had um, the school year was ending, I think, on May 27th. Um, so however many days up until May 27th uh, would be when it was all – it's over. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be assignments specifically for that last week or if week eight kind of adds the extra two days in because it's two days after – Memorial Day, um, but we'll have a few assignments for week seven going over uh, finishing earth space science stuff, doing some review. Week eight, we are going to do the earth space science review quiz um, and then go into kind of what we've talked about, um, kind of a little review thing, and then you'll have your final exam um, but for my envir environmental kids, the final exam is fairly similar to how uh, the final was or the quarter exam was for third quarter. Fourth quarter exam is very similar. Um, it's typed um, or the last one was written, but this is typed because we're on the computers now. Um, there'll be 10 questions. You write like three sentences for each one. Um, and you guys should be awesome with that. I'm not expecting any issues um, and it will be very, very good. Final exam for comprehensive is going to be very similar. Questions might change, um, but it'll still be 10 questions. Write me three sentences for each one. Hit submit. Get an A. Be happy, 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 and enjoy your summer. That is the game plan there. Um, so that is what we have going on. I believe the school is doing um, kind of an online YouTube eighth grade awards ceremony. Um, yours truly will probably be a part of that. So that'll be nice. Um, if you were able to stop by um, lunch with Turner on Friday, um, it was not just lunch with Turner. It was lunch with Turner and Frankenstein and Dumont and Day and Danner and Miss Unterreiner and Mr. Finetto, and Mr. Connolly, Mr. Vicky, and I'm sure I'm missing somebody else. 
So please stop by. It was an awesome time. I'm going to try to have everybody on again um, to say hello and hang out. It's kind of awkward because only the teachers talked back and forth um, and the kids were just silent. So, you know, you can interact Google Meet. I'll send out all the information for that. And my connection is unstable. Hopefully it's stable now. Um, the color of my walls is like a grayish color. Can't You can't see it here. But yes, the wall color is a grayish. Um, I have no idea what the color code is, Adrian. Um, so if I find out, I'll get that information to you. Um, but I'm glad you're kind of digging it. Um, so that's good. If you don't have a webcam, that's cool. You can still like talk and watch what's going on and stuff. So you don't technically um, need the webcam. Uh, my closet doors are not very thick. Um, they're probably like half an inch, one inch thick. Um, so they're not super, uh, super thick, but um, they're there. I answered the question about comprehensive test. It's very similar to the environmental one. Still, still typed, um, but should be should be very good. Um, where did I get the paint from? I'm sure it came from the Home Depot or the Lowe's, um, but I'm not exactly sure which Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, this was the paint color that was on this wall before I bought this house. If you can only use the school Google Meet, try again. I should be able to say yes. I've had a lot of people log in um, to the Lunch with Turner without using their school Google account. So you should be able to get in. Um, I can accept you and then you should be fine there. Oh, the piece of art in the corner. Oh, the painting, not the paint color. This, this is um, a Guy Ranger Fjord in Norway. Um, and this is actually a picture that I took um, when I was in Norway a few years back on the, when we, when we went fjording. And so, yes, this is a big fjord in Norway and a waterfall. I believe this is one of the seven sisters on um, waterfalls. There's like seven little ones next to each other. But this is Guy Ranger Fjord in Norway. Um, very symmetrical, yes. Um, it is one of my favorite pictures from Norway. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Guy Ranger Fjord. And uh, it's not too shabby at all. I also have some sweet pictures from, uh, from London and Ireland and Venice but they are not in this room and I do not want to take them off the wall. So that is Guy Ranger Fjord from our Fjordin trip or Fjordin cruising down the fjord. I've never been to Scotland. I've been to um, England, London specifically. And I've been through Ireland. Ireland is a neat place. I was assuming because Ireland doesn't really like a lot of what England does, that they drive on the right side of the road like we do. No, 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 no. They drive on the left side of the road. And so I actually got a stick shift car to drive on the left side of the road because I didn't know. And I was like, oh, yeah. I can drive a stick shift, no problem. I almost died like four times coming home or coming going to the hotel from the airport. Um, it was a fairly traumatic experience. I am still here, and um, it has been. I made it, um, but we drove around Ireland. Ireland is very, very green. There's lots of sheep and goats frolicking in the fields, running around, skipping and jumping. I believe I've showed people the picture of a nice castle called Castle Roche or Castle Rock. And to visit the castle, 
it was a ruins, and there was one rule. Make sure that you close the gate so the sheep don't get out. So we closed the gate, and we looked at the castle. I don't know what mechanical or compositional means for layers of the earth. Um, so email me what you're specifically asking about that. And we should uh, be able to figure that out. Because I'm not totally sure what mechanical or compositional, what those two points mean. I know what the layers are, like outer or the cores, the mantles, and the crust. And I know the layers of the atmosphere um, from strato to exosphere. But I'm not exactly sure what the mechanical compositional thing is. I'm probably thinking compositional. But I'm not huge on earth-based science. I really like life science and physical science, like Ms. Mar just said. Um, but I do know there's layers. I don't know the difference between mechanical and compositional um, for this specific instance. Yes, there are five layers. Inner core, outer core, upper mantle, or, sorry, lower mantle, upper mantle, crust. Mm, cat in a box. That's nice. I don't know why people buy toys for cats. Because cardboard boxes are perfect. Same thing with young children. Um, babies don't need toys. They need Tupperware and cardboard boxes. That's all you need to know. I believe I cut the vine. I mean, but the vine is no longer, no longer there. Um, I do have vines in my house because Florida has a lot of vines. And so um, I have to cut the vines to keep the trees alive because the vines actually like kudzu, an invasive species in Florida, very bad, that kudzu vine. It grows and it kills and chokes out the plant from getting um, the next necessary sunlight and oxygen to its leaves so we can do photosynthesis. Um, so not huge on vines at all. Um, I will listen to the song later. Uh, Lil Man Turner is, is enjoying his morning nap. Um, he actually fell asleep, so he's no longer um, crying. So that's nice. Um, everybody's body is currently uh, under homeostasis, unless you have a intense fever and that is your body actually trying to maintain that homeostasis and get rid of any sort of viral or bacterial infections. Um, so that is very important. Marty has 10 apples. His train is seven minutes early. He uses to calculate the size of his house and the mass of the universe. Well, his the size of his house is quite large at 3,724 square feet. And that's actually a large size home. Um, but in, in terms of the universe, um, that's like one quadrillion billionth of the universe. And that's still a big house. I will not make a test <laughs> that has questions about that like uh, Marty has there. Um, it will be more straightforward and you will definitely be able to answer them and do very well on them. Um, in no way is it meant to be a, uh, how red the pilot's hair is. Well, I believe they call that red saltwater red. So it, it looks pink, but it's really saltwater red, kind of like the, the pants that I have, um, that are saltwater red, not salmon, salmon pants. I don't own salmon pants. I have saltwater. I'm glad Na NASA confirmed that the distance from the sun to the earth is the same as the distance from the earth to the sun. Um, that makes, that makes sense. Smelly. David and the boys. No, thank you. All right, well, if nobody has any information for me, I will be leaving shortly. And send it my way in the email.
if you think I would actually appreciate it. If you think I would not, then don't worry about sending it. Question, Shadow Lord person, sir. Yes, send me the question. Uh, por favor, yes. Gaming competition, end of the year. You people have fun with that. I will not. As you know, I am very, very excellent at gaming. And I lose for you every time. And you are quite welcome. So I'm going to bid you adieu. Make sure to join Lunch with Turner and all the people on Friday to see everybody and hang out and have a nice chat. Toodaloo. Goodbye.